it's huge. We knew that when we had, had done the investigation on the so-called LuxLeaks, which was a system of uh, organized tax evasion with the connivance of European governments, and a system that still is there, but about which we produced very strong uh, recommendations on which basis now the Commission is acting, as we see by this ruling on Ireland to recover the money from Apple. It's not just about Ireland and it's not just about Apple, it's about all the other governments. But actually the Panama Papers lead us to another level, which is not the, 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 what is going on in the corporate world, of multinationals, but is actually what is happening at the individual level with this organized system. It's a system. That's what the journalist told us. This is the system that the system that where banks and lawyers and financial consultants do not actually uh, implement the existing leg legislation and uh, use this uh, offshore industry to actually hide the corrupt and the criminals and the tax evaders to stack the proceeds of uh, this uh, uh, criminality away in anonymity. We need to fight that. That requires that law enforcement uh, agencies will have much more means to actually fight. And we, one of the questions that was asked here was actually, did our member states already act upon what is known about them uh, with, uh, via the Panama Papers? Did they push their public prosecutors to act upon what is already known and much is still to be uncovered?